The more that I study Bitcoin, the more complex it gets. So today, let's discuss Bitcoin code using simple terms. We can think of Bitcoin code as a set of rules that determines how the Bitcoin payment platform operates. Bitcoin is based on open source code, meaning anyone can copy and paste a million versions of the code base and edit it all they want. And yet those modifications won't change the code base of the Bitcoin network unless everyone adopts those changes. So if you can duplicate your own coins on your own replica blockchain to infinity, then how could Bitcoin be truly scarce, valuable, innovative, or safe to use? Think of Bitcoin like a language similar to Morse code. You can start your own version of Morse code, but the code itself is only as valuable or useful as the amount of people who understand your code language. The patterns of blips that make up Morse code are, of course, meaningless in and of themselves. The only way a line of Morse code means anything is if everyone using the code agrees on what each pattern or blip sequence means. So blip, 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 blip might represent the letter H, which of course also might be meaningless unless the code is used to build a word like help, which also might be meaningless unless the person receiving the message also speaks English. Language itself is only as useful as the network of participants willing to agree on the terms, and money itself is only as useful as its network of people willing to barter against those specific units of money. The bits of code that program Bitcoin are meaningless unless enough people agree to the terms, the shared code, the rules of that system. For instance, one rule in Bitcoin is that there can only be 21 million coins. So there's a hard cap on its supply. If everyone decided they wanted to change that rule, then that rule would change. The larger the network of Bitcoin, the harder it is to get everyone to agree to change this rule. As adoption increases for any language, the harder it is to adjust the terms. Ultimately, Bitcoin only holds value to people who speak that language. In the same way that pesos mean nothing to someone living in China, and everything to someone living in Mexico. Like any language, Bitcoin becomes exponentially more useful and more valuable as its network expands. And that's Bitcoin code, put simply.